Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers, and I'm coming at you with a super, 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 super exciting, actually it's not that exciting, but I figured I should start doing this. Uh, we have what's online, I found this online, it's, uh, it's the Setsume textbook. I found it free online, so I figured it's okay Hello, to reproduce everybody, it. Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers, and I'm coming at you with a super, Hello, super, 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 super stream. Alright, let's go ahead and close, or uh, make that muted, sorry about that. All right, so I found this PDF online. It's basically a free online textbook, but it's all written for Japanese people. Uh, so I figured I'd go through it with you guys, lesson by lesson, live lessons online with streaming. And that way, and then I'm gonna put this all on YouTube. Be sure to check out the main website, www.evanseasyjapanese.com. And uh, let's start learning Japanese. Hey, let's go ahead and jump into this textbook. I'm just gonna go through it and try to give you basically what they are and then make Quizlet cards uh, as we go through the textbook. Enough said, let's begin. Hey, hey how do we uh, make this full screen? Control L, all right, Control L. Oh, so tiny. All right, let's zoom that guy up. All right, hopefully this is big enough for everybody. All right, so we have right here, Boon-1, uh, Boon Ichi. So this is, Boon in this textbook is going to be used to explain grammar. So this is the first grammar lesson. And des. So this is a noun followed by des. Des, desu. If you don't know how to read hiragana, katakana, sorry, go back and learn how to read them on my website. I got some amazing videos to teach you, hiragana, katakana. All right. Uh, but please, learn hiragana katakana. Now this normally would be read desu, but we're just going to pronounce it des. Get over it, that's how it's read. Alright, n1, the first noun, wa. That's a ha, but it's pronounced wa, because it's the wa particle. n2, des, or de wa arimasen. We have a fancy little chart here, it says uh, hikako. Kako, hikako. Uh, kako is past tense, he is not past tense, so the non-past form of the verb. Koteke, the form of positive, the affirmative part of the sentence is n des, so the noun plus des is the affirmative of the statement. Hiteke, uh, so this is the negative, uh, the negative form. N de wa arimasen. De wa arimasen. This is red de wa, but Evan, that's a ha. It's the wa particle, it's red ha. Uh, sorry, it's red wa. <laughs> Don't listen to me, listen to what I'm saying now. De wa arimasen. All right, so that's the basics. One noun followed by a wa particle, followed by a second noun followed by des or de wa arimasen. My ear itches. Kayui. All right. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking. This is the kihon. This is the basics. This is the foundation of what we're doing right now. This is the foundation of the lesson. All right. Des. Oh, I didn't explain what des meant. Des means that something is something. De wa arimasen means that something is not something. Pretty straightforward. So it, des is is, am, are, b. Arby's. Don't, I don't know if you want to eat there. It's pretty decent. De wa arimasen is is not, am not, are not, will not be, etc., etc., etc. Now notice is the hikako. This is the, they call it the non-past, and that's very accurate because it is the non-past. Uh, in English, we have so many uh, verb uh, pa tenses that um, we have so many freaking names for them. So actually, the non-past form in Japanese uh, qualifies as both the habitual tense, as in I eat dinner every single day at 6 p.m. Like, uh, I eat is something that you do numerous times over a long period of time. And then it, the hikako in Japanese, the non-past tense, is also the I will do something. Something will be something. So this is something is something and something will be something. Des. De wa arimasen. All right, Kihon, let's go to the Reibun, the Reibun, the example sentences. How are we all doing? Oh, feel free to ask questions. This might be a little bit easy for some of you, but feel free to ask questions, okay? This is why I'm on Twitch. Looks like we got one whole viewer. Oh, my God. Yes. All right, so Reibun, this, this, this is the word watashi. Watashi wa kokousei desu. Watashi wa kokousei desu. Oh, this is the subject, so noun one. In our pattern, noun one, wa, noun two, des. Noun one is noun two. That's what we're saying. Watashi wa kouko o sei desu. Watashi wa kouko o sei desu. Watashi wa, regarding me, kouko o sei desu. I am a, a high school student. Watashi wa daigakusei de wa arimasen. This is I am not something. Watashi wa I am not daigakusei. This is a college student. I have to add that to my vocab list. I got to remember to add that. I'm making quizlet cards for you guys. 
Watashi wa Nakayama desu. This is someone's name, Nakayama. Watashi wa Nakayama desu. I am Nakayama. Nakayama san wa Nihonjin desu. Nakayama san wa Nihonjin desu. So, Nakayama san, Miss Nakayama, Mr. Nakayama is Japanese, a Japanese person, Nihonjin desu. Um, Really quickly about the wa particle. Uh, some of my, my more advanced learners might be saying, what's the difference between wa and ga, my good sir? And I'm going to tell them that the thing that comes before wa is less important than what comes after wa. So, watashi wa, regarding me, I am a high school student. This is the more important information, what comes after the wa particle. The ga particle is backwards. What comes before the ga is what's important, and what comes after the ga is less important. It's already kind of understood. So the wa particle, the stuff before it is kind of already understood or should be understood from this point forward. And with the ga particle, what comes after it is kind of already understood in the conversation. And what comes before it is not understood. We, thus, questions like, uh, who went to the store? We use dare ga as opposed to dare wa because we don't actually know who it was. Okay, let's keep on trucking. We're on number five, I think. Yeah, we did this one. Nakayama san wa nihonjin desu. And Miss Nakayama is a uh, is a uh, is a Japanese person. Madi san wa juhasai desu. A san. This is what we throw after uh, names to say like Mr. Mrs. Miss whatever. Madi must be a name. Wa the wa particle juhasai. This is the counter for age, and juhachi is eighteen. Juhachi, but we're gonna turn it into juhasai because welcome to Japanese. It's just what we do. Mari-san wa juhasai desu. Sorry. Mari-san wa juhasai desu. Mary is 18, or Mari is 18 years of age. Alright, you might be wondering what this text is above this character right here. This character is a kanji character, and this is how we read it. This is called furigana, and this is the kanji. So, nihonjin, that's kanji. This is how do we read it, nihonjin. Alright, six, we have a conversation. A. Kimura-san wa kokousei desu ka? The ka at the end of a sentence makes it into a question. Kimura-san wa, regarding Miss Kimura or Mr. Kimura, kokousei desu ka? Is he or she a, uh, a high school student? B responds with hai, yes. Kokousei desu, yes. She is a high school student, yes. Is a high school student. Notice we don't mention the subject again. It's understood, just like I said earlier. The stuff before the wa is generally understood in the conversation and doesn't really need to be repeated. Hai, kokousei desu. Alright, Kimura-san wa kokousei desu ka? Hai, kokousei desu. So she is, or he is, whatever gender that name is, a high school student. Kimura-san wa kokousei desu ka? Kimura-san wa kokousei desu ka? Hai, kokousei desu. Uh, seven. Koko ninensei desu ka? So koko is high school, ninensei is second year high school. Second year high school, for those of you who are unfamiliar, is actually a junior of high school here in America um, because they have six years in elementary school, three in middle, and three in high school. But who's, who's A talking about? Well, for those of you who are curious, he's talking, A is talking about B, most likely. Uh, when the subject isn't mentioned and it's in the middle of a conversation, we're probably talking to the person that we're talking to. Duh. So, yes, that's so. Yes. That is true. Yes, that's true. Notice we're not saying that because it's already understood. Who is A talking about? Koko ninensei desu ka? I already sort of answered the question, but who's who's A talking about? Well, for those of you who are curious, he's talking. A is talking about B most likely. Uh, when the subject isn't mentioned and it's in the middle of a conversation, we're probably talking to the person that we're talking to. Duh. Koko se koko ninensei desu ka? Hai, so this. Yes, I am. Yes, that's right. Or maybe in a previous sentence before A started talking, we were talking about, I don't know, Mari-san or Kimura-san. So if we combine six and seven together and make this one whole conversation, Kimura-san wa kokousei desu ka? Is, is Kimura a high school student? Hai, kokousei desu. Yep, he's a high school student. Koko ninensei desu ka? Is Kimura a second year student of high school? Hai, so desu. Yes, he is. We could combine those and thus A and B and 7 are talking about Kimura or if we take an entirely new conversation, we don't actually know who the subject is. But it could be you or it could be Kimura or it could be somebody else. Whoever A and B are talking about is understood in context. But we don't have enough context. No questions? Well, I guess we only got two viewers. Alright, let's go on to 8. 
Eight. <laughs> I saw the A and A too. Screwed it up. All right. Kimura-san desu ka? Are you Kimura-san? Uh, sorry. Kimura-san desu ka? So this could be, are you Kimura-san? It could be, are we talking about Kimura-san? Uh, what you just said, is that regarding Kimura-san desu ka? Oh, Kimura-san desu ka? Is, is that Kimura? Iye? No. Kimura-san, oh, sorry, Kimura de wa arimasen. I am not Kimura. We're not talking about Kimura. Kimura is not who is in question here. Kimura-san desu ka? Are you Kimura-san? Iye, Kimura de wa arimasen. Okay, so... Let's keep on trucking. Yeah, I mean, uh, so we don't know the context. Let's say that the conversation's like, oh man, I have to fire somebody because he never shows up on time. Huh? Kimura-san desu ka? You're going to fire Kimura? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kimura-san de wa, Kimura de wa arimasen. I'm not firing Kimura. Or it could be, just straight up, are you Kimura? Oh, Kimura-san desu ka? Iye, Kimura de wa arimasen, is what you're supposed to say. All right, number nine. Kimura-san desu ka? Same same lead up, A and A. Yet, chigaimasu. Chigaimasu. This is a verb that means that is incorrect. Um, which is odd because they didn't explain what this word is and they don't have the grammar for it. But hey, screw it. Let's just add this to the lesson one where we didn't explain what chigaimasu means. That sounds like a good thing to do with a textbook. Yet, chigaimasu. No, that is incorrect. No, you've made a mistake. That's a mistake. Ten. Kimura san desu ka? Are you Kimura or are we talking about Kimura? Iye, Tanaka desu. Nope. Uh, I am Tanaka or nope, we're talking about Tanaka. Okay, so Iye, Tanaka desu. All right, those are our example sentences. Those, those, are, the, those are the example sentences, the reibun. Once again, you're going to be able to go onto Quizlet and find all of these flashcards. Look for Setsume, Bun Ichi and you should be able to find them. This area, this is the kaisetsu, the explanation. I'm not gonna go through this and teach you the grammar, but I will basically tell you what's written here. It says, en desu wa koteike, en de wa arimasen wa hiteike, en desu ka wa gimonke. So, when we have des, it's a positive. When we have de wa arimasen, it's a negative. When we say desu ka, it's a question. Uh, en one wa en two desu de. Anyone on the mai ya gakunen kokuseki ano nenrei nitsuite no beru koto ga dekiru. So um, they're just saying we can uh, uh n1 could be you know names or ages or nationalities or ages and we can ask about those things. Um, yeah, it just has to be a noun. I don't really. It doesn't really need to. This doesn't really need to be ex explained. I uh, see n1 wa n2 desu ka no shitsumon ni taisuru kutai wa. Uh, so yeah, uh, we don't. This is just saying that. Uh, this is just saying that n one and n two deska no shitsumo ni taisuru kutai wa. So so the answer of uh, the question for n one n two deska hitotori de wa de wa nai hitotori de wa nai. Good question, Evan. I don't know what that means. Let's check that one out. Boom. Hitotori. I should have looked that up. Hitotori. Boom. Generally, broadly speaking, loosely through in a general way. Is not general. All right. I don't. Once again, I don't know why they're expl well, why the, why they're explaining this. No uh, So so the, your answer shouldn't be general, I guess. Okay. The N one ga nan de aru ka wa katteru bai wa N one wa o shouraku suru koto ga aru. Okay. So there are times when we'll shorten. Uh, when basically we don't need to add n1. I already explained this. When we already know what we're talking about, we don't need to add the first noun in the sentence. N1 wa to de wa arimasen no wa 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 to hatsuon suru. So in this situation, the ha is actually read wa. Or to explain that. All right, we got more reibuns. What the heck? All right, something decided to update itself. Oh my gosh, we got three viewers. I hope you guys are all excited. This is, uh, whoops, there's my mouse. Hot 10. This is growth, development, expansion. So we're going to expand what we've done. So here there's going to be example grammar that we haven't been introduced to yet, just like there was here as well, because this textbook is awesome. Oops, I'm out of a, what's it, control L? Wee! Do, 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 do. All right. So, with our development expansion, let's jump into it. We got reibun, example sentences. 11. A. Kimura desu. 
Most likely he's saying, I am Kimura. Kimura san desu ka? Oh, are you Kimura? Hai, so desu. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's so. Yes, that's accurate. Kimura desu. Kimura san desu ka? Hai, so desu. Yeah, that's right. Shokudo wa doko ni arimasu ka? Doko means where ni arimasu ka means uh, where does it exist? Shokudo is like a dining hall. Hey, where's the dining hall? Shokudo wa, regarding the shokudo, doko ni arimasu ka? Where is it? Where is it located? Where is it at? At where does it exist? I ask you. Asoka this. Notice the question is doko ni arimasu ka? But the answer is asoko desu. The answer is it's there. Aso oh, sorry. Asoko means uh, away from the both of us. Away from the both of us. So I'm talking to you. It's not near me. It's not near you. It's over there or over there. Away from the both of us. So asoko desu. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's over there. Asoko desu. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, it's over there. All right. You got to see a part of my house. So, asoka this. It's over there. So, you can do that. You can shorten down when you already know what the heck verb we're talking about. Um, you can just bl blurt out des just like that. And it means the same thing as the previous verb. So, for example, Kesa, nani o tabemashita ka? <laughs> Excuse me. Kesa, this morning, nani o tabemashita ka? What? Nani o? The object is nani. Tabemashita. This is the past tense mashita of tabemas, which is to eat. Um, you can just... Blurt, blurt out des just like that, and it means the same thing as the previous verb. So, for example, Kesa, nani o tabemashita ka? <laughs> Excuse me. Kesa, this morning, nani o tabemashita ka? What? Nani o? The object is nani. Tabemashita. This is the past tense mashita of tabemas, which is to eat. What? What? Did you eat this morning? Kesa, nani o tabemashita ka? What did you eat this morning? Kesa, nani o tabemashita ka? Pan to kudamono desu. Pan to kudamono desu. The to particle here is linking pan and kudamono together. It's saying and. Pan, pan means bread. Kudamono ni means fruit. The to particle tells us both of these. Pan to kudamono desu. Bread and fruit desu. It is bread and fruit. But look at that. He's not asking what is that. He's asking what did you eat. Well, because we already know what the heck we're talking about, you can just say desu like that. Oh, panto kudamono desu. Uh, it was, it is, uh, bread and fruit. Kesa, nani tabemashita ka? Panto kudamono desu. It's bread and fruit, to answer your question. A weird thing that you, most English speakers are not familiar with, uh, but you can totally do this. Instead of saying, panto kudamono o tabemashita, we can just say, panto kudamono o, uh, sorry, panto kudamono desu. All right, nanji. Nanji is what time? What time? Nanji. Made until what time? Arubaito, part-time job. Oshimasu ka? Are you doing your part-time job? Until what time? Are you working your part-time job today? <clears throat> or who knows? Tomorrow, whatever it might be. Gogo afternoon. Yoji made des. Until four o'clock in the afternoon, four p.m. Gogo p.m. afternoon. Yoji four o'clock. This is four, which is usually pronounced yon or shi. Here with the time marker, the hour marker, it's pronounced yoji. Gogo yoji made desu. It is until four o'clock p.m. Once again, we have arubaito o shimasu as the verb. He doesn't need to say, I am working until four o'clock p.m. He just says, yoji made desu. Gogo yoji made desu. This desu, keeping it nice and polite. Okay, any questions? Looks like nobody here is asking questions. So that's fine. Maybe it's too easy for everybody. Let's jump on down to the explanations. Kaisetsu. F. En desu ka? De aite no itta koto o ichibu kurikaishite kiki kakurin suru koto ga dekiru. So, for example, uh, in, in this one, he says, uh, Your noun desu ka? Um, if, you, if, you, if you say that to your... To, to, um, so basically, what all is saying is that uh, you, if you if you didn't quite hear somebody and and you want to like, oh, is that what you said? You just say, oh, Kimura the san desu ka? Oh, is that what it was? So it, it's just a way to ichibu uh, kurikai. You you want to hear it again? You want to hear what they said again? The kakurin sir, you want to double check what they, what they said? And so shitsumon ni taisuru kutai ga n o verb. So this is verb. V is verb. Verb mas n ni v mas. So if it's n noun o verb. Noun ni verb, noun e verb, noun de verb, etc., etc., etc. 
and you just need to know what the noun is. Uh, so basically, you can just say end des. Your your noun des. I was just saying you can do that. And then here are some notes for the teacher. Wa is a particle. N1 wa should I? The first noun is the subject. That's an important thing to mention. This this is basically the subject of your sentence. N2 des is basically a, an expl an explanation of N1. Hanashi kotoba de wa n de wo arimasen ga n ja arimasen. Yeah, yeah. So when when people are talking, de wo arimasen can very frequently turn into ja arimasen. Ja arimasen. And actually, it can even be janai des, janai des. So de wo arimasen, ja arimasen, and ja janai des are all the same thing. One more time, say stuttered there. De wo arimasen, ja arimasen, and janai des are all the same thing. They all mean negative of des. And des, and de wo arimasen wa tene ne hyoge. So, so these are just polite expressions. These are the polite ways of saying is and is not. All right, so I hope that was good for you guys. I want to go over the Quizlet flashcards that I made for this lesson. Bing, ding, and we're going to go to Quizlet. If you go to Evan G. Rogers on Quizlet.com, just jam over to Quizlet. Oh my gosh, it's Quizlet. And then you type in like Evan G. Oops, I'm going to type it in Japanese. If you just type in like Evan G. Rogers, look at that. Or you can even type in like Setsu, Setsume. I wonder if that'll show up actually. Hey, right, look, if you just type in Setsume, it'll show up. Great. So you go to Evan G. Rogers. Then you click on, uh, let's see, if you go to Evan G. Rogers, then you might see like classes that he has somewhere. Go to Evans Easy Japanese if it's available to you. Ask me to ask me to ask to join the set. I'll say yeah, no problem. Come on in. Oh, I didn't add it to I didn't add it to this yet. Um, add a set. So let's add a set. We want to add this here. Boom. All right, great. And there it is. Click on here. A bunch of flashcards are going to show up. Hit the flashcard button. And here we got this. Let's go ahead and just learn these real quick. Doko. Remember what doko meant? It meant if you hit the up button, it means where. Next we have chigaimas. I have the kanji and then how to read it underneath it. Chigaimas is that is incorrect. That's wrong. That's not right. Hatten. This is a word that you don't really need to know, but this is going to be frequently found in the textbook. Hatten is growth, development, advancement, uh, expansion. Kokose. Oh, that reminds me. I have to add daigakuse. So let's go ahead and add daigakuse. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Let's go back to here. We will edit. Do, 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 do. Add a term and then daigaku. Uh, we should add how to read it. Daigaku. This is university slash college. And then daigaku se. Daigaku se. College slash university student. Student. No, student. All right, we're done with that now. Boom, let's go back to flashcards. We were on this guy. So Koko say is high school student. High school student. Here we have Daigaku, which I just totally added. Great, it caught itself up. This is a college. College or university? This is 18 sai, but it's pronounced juhatsai. 18 by itself is only pronounced juhachi. Juhachi. But because the chi is a hard sound and then sai has a nice closed mouth sound. Juhatsai is how we read it. 18 years old. Yoji. Yoji, four o'clock. Ka, this is the ka particle, tells us, um, tells us, what do you call it? It's a question. Um, is there question a particle, Ooh. question particle. Okay, I said it twice. If you copy this and plug it in, it's going to take you to where I go over the ka particle. A lot of these, if you see this, go ahead and click on it, and you can get straight to another video explaining the thing. So this, that is so, that is right, that is accurate, that is correct. A dagakuse. We just did that one. I just added it in. College student, university student. Nanji, nanji. This is what time? What time? What time? Nanji ni yokimashita ga? What time did you wake up? Koko, high school. Easy. Ni nense. Says a ni is two, nen is year, se is student. So what year student? That's two year student. This could be chugaku ni nense, shogaku ni nense, koko ni nense, dagaku ni nense. So based on what school you're in, your second year of that school. 
Uh, there will already must end. Negative of uh, deaths. Actually, we should add the other. Um, I'll do it later. We'll add the other negatives. Jadi must end and Janai deaths. Oh, sorry. That's negative of deaths. Is not, am not, be not, are not. Mare, until. Mare, until. This is a particle which follows a time or location. Oh, sorry. Bumpo is grammar. Grammar. Bumpo. That's the boon of the lesson. Tabimas. This is a word that actually wasn't taught to you yet, but it means to eat. Arbaito is a part-time job. A part-time job. Gimonke. This is a word you don't need to know. This is just means the question style. Gimon is another way of saying interrogative. The interrogative style. The question style. Hiteke is the negative form of the verb. The negative form. Place ni arimas at a location. Something exists at a location. Something is at a location. And this is for things that do not move on their own. Pan bread. Namai. This is a this is a word that didn't actually show up at all today, but namai is a name. This is the wa particle. It, it tells you what the chief subject of the sentence is. Copy paste this. And the I'll topic paste. particle. The key main. The topic particle. The key main subject. All right. So uh, I guess it'll do that if you click on it. But you just take that, copy it into your thing, and it'll take you to the wa particle explanation videos that I've made. All right. Watashi means me. I. Des is something is am are. Koteke, this is a positive form of a thing, an affirmative sentence, a non-negative. Asoko, this means away from the both of us, over there. Masta, this happened once, and it's uh, when you have a verb that ends in mas, and you want to make a past tense, make it masta instead, and you get the past tense of regular form. Yet, no, yep, no. Son, this is after someone's name, it means Mr., Mrs., Miss. Oh, this it signifies the direct object of the sentence, the thing that you're going to verb. Once again, you can copy that link. Kessa, this morning. Hi, that is accurate. That is true. Yes. Reibun, this is example sentences. Reibun. Shokudo, dining hall. Shokudo. Kaisatsu, an explanation. Kaisatsu, explanation. This is another word you don't really need to know. This, this is for the textbook itself. Nihonjin, Japanese person, a Japanese people, Japanese person. Kudamono, uh, fruits, fruits. Ni, this tells you where something is, and it's for uh, a thing that doesn't move on its own. So, um, or no, it's, it's where something exists, so where something is. Place, uh, place after location or even a time. It means at or to or maybe even in. It can also mean in. the location where something is. Once again, you can see more about the knee particle at that link. All right, go, go, PM, afternoon. Nihon, Japan, Nihon, Japan. Shimas, to do something, to perform something. Hikako, this is the non-past tense form of the verb. All right, that's all of the words right there. I hope this was a good stream for you guys. It looks like we only had a few viewers, oh well. I'm gonna try to make this a, a thing that we keep on doing, so try to join me in the future. Have yourself a holly jolly day and I hope this was helpful.